Hello everyone, this is Kevin from Cadence Themes and today I'm excited to give you an overview of the Cadence WooCommerce Extras plugin. Available for $35 per year for a single plugin license and included in your $75 a year Cadence membership, this plugin is an absolute bargain. If you scroll through these features here and compare them to our competitors, you'll notice that in order to get comparable features, you'd have to spend upwards of $500 per year on other products from other companies. So yeah, this plugin is amazing. Ben put a lot of really hard work into it and is well thought out and easy to configure. So without further ado, let's navigate to our admin area and get started with Woo Extras. Now I'm gonna assume that you've already activated and installed the plugin. Won't cover that in this video, but once activated and installed, you should see Woo Extras in your admin sidebar. Firstly, you're gonna to wanna to navigate there and start activating all of these tabs. Now if these are off, you won't have access to these features, so anything that you'd like to use within Woo Extras, be sure you're enabling within the plugin before you get started. So we'll finish turning all of these on, and then we will save the changes. And it's important that after the changes are saved, you refresh the page, and you should see some new sections in the sidebar for reviews, sizing charts, and under WooCommerce you'll find areas for cart notices and checkout manager. Now that the plugin's all activated, let's navigate to a product page and take a look at galleries, sizing charts, and variation swatches. Alright, so the first thing I'd like you to take note of on the single variable product page are variation swatches. I'm not going to cover a detailed setup of the variation swatches in this video, but for a single product, you can set them here for the color and size or your site defaults will be set within the Woo Extras settings. Next, let's take a look at the gallery. Take note of the nice uh, transition between images, uh, the hover zoom effect, and if you wish, you can retain lightbox functionality for your product gallery, and the product gallery defaults are set here. Next, let's take a look at the sizing chart feature of the plugin. I'm not going to cover a detailed configuration of a sizing chart here, but I do have another video that does that, so I'll link to that at the end and you can set up a new sizing chart by finding it in your admin sidebar and hitting add new chart. Finally, let's take a look at the advanced reviews section of the plugin. The first thing I'd like you to take notice with the advanced reviews is the review overview. Now this could be enabled simply by going into the WooCommerce extra settings for advanced reviews and enabling the review overview. Now if you have any existing reviews on your site from before you installed the plugin, you're going to want to click this convert reviews button. This will set all of your previous reviews to appear the same as the advanced reviews, so it's really important to do that. If you have any reviews that are pending approval, simply go to the review section here and approve the review that is output as the advanced review. You can ignore all the other ones without a title because they will not appear like the others. So let's take a moment, refresh the page, and see if our new review appears. And sweet, there it is. Another cool feature of the Advanced Reviews plugin is the ability to upvote and downvote reviews if you find them helpful. So that covers it for the single product side of the plugin. Let's move on to our archives. The first thing I'd like to take note of that affects your archive pages are the variation options. Now what the variation options will allow you to do is set archive text before your variation price or after your variation price. So if you'd like to include only the lowest price and show text before it, or only include the highest price and show text after it, or any other combination that you'd like, you can do that. So I'm just going to set some arbitrary text right here, and let's see how that looks on our archive page. So let's navigate to our shop, and I don't know if this will look good, but it should give you a good idea of what this does. So take a look at the Brave Notebook, and we can see starting at zero pounds and, and beyond. So you can have that say anything you want, whatever works for your site. Moving on, let's take a look at another cool feature of the plugin. You can actually set the Add to Cart button text for your simple products, variable products, grouped products, and out-of-stock products separately. So this gives you full control over how the buttons will appear on your shop page. Now I'm just going to put some words here so you can see what it affects. So after saving the changes, let's navigate to our shop page again and see if we can see the add to cart text. Yep, that's changed to buy me. Select options for our variable products. And it looks like the other ones aren't used on this store, but I think that should give you an idea of what that does. 
Now that we've seen the variable add to cart text, let's take a look at the extra category description. With the extra category description enabled, navigate to your products categories area and pick a category. Let's just pick travel accessories. And what this does is enable an extra description area at the bottom of your category page. So I'm just going to add some lorem ipsum text here. And we will save it. Just add a little bit more. Update that. And let's navigate to our category. There should be a view category button somewhere here. There we go. And let's see if our description shows that. Yeah, so at the bottom of your page, you now have the ability to add a category description. Now that we've seen what we can do with our single product and archive pages, let's take a look at the cart notices and checkout manager options. In order to gain access to the cart notices feature of this plugin, you first need to navigate back to your admin area and find WooCommerce cart notices. Click on the cart notices and I'm not going to cover a detailed configuration of cart notices because the settings are pretty self-explanatory. But if you have any uh, questions about this, I would recommend taking a good look at this section here. And you should be able to figure it out, but if you have any questions, of course, post on the support forums and we'll be glad to help you. Before you get a cart notice configured, though, it's important that you navigate to WooCommerce coupons and have the coupon set up already. So I've got this one here that adds 50% off the travel backpack when you add it to your cart. All right, so now that the coupon is configured and the cart notice as well, let's add the Woo shirt to our cart and see if those settings are reflected. So add to cart and then let's view the cart. And we should see that button notice in there by default. So there it is. Let's test our discount. And just like that, you can see the travel backpack has been added to the cart as well as the 50% discount. Now finally, let's take a look at the checkout manager options and show how you can add a new field to your checkout page. See right here, the where did you hear from us? This is actually super easy to set up. You'll want to navigate back to your admin area, go to WooCommerce, checkout manager, and you'll find the settings. You can add billing fields, shipping fields, or extra fields as I have already. And the settings are pretty self-explanatory here as well. Just like with variation swatches, you can select how it will appear, as well as a few other self-explanatory options. Now that does it for the Woo Extras overview video. As always, if you have any further questions regarding the plugin or any of our products, post on the forum. We'll be happy to help.